Hey everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to install an antivirus on your devices. Now for this video, I'll be using Norton 360 to demonstrate as it is my personal favorite and the one I usually use. But the process should be pretty similar with other antiviruses as well. And if you're not sure which antivirus to go for, I'll leave some in-depth reviews on antiviruses I personally recommend, along with some discounts in the description down below. Okay, so installing an antivirus is pretty simple. The first thing you need to do is go to the official antivirus website, in this case Norton, and scroll down to view the plans. Once you've settled on a subscription that fits what you're looking for, click on subscribe now. This will take you to a page where you have to enter your email, the billing information, and agree to their terms of service. After you successfully subscribe to one of their plans, you'll be redirected to a page thanking you with a get started button right at the end. Click on that and then click on agree and download if you're setting it up on this device or send download link if you're setting it up on other devices. Here, we're just gonna go for agree and download which will automatically start downloading the installer. Now, once the installer is done downloading, click on it. This will launch the installer and immediately start downloading the software. This could take between five and 15 minutes, but that just depends on your internet speed. Once the software is done downloading, click on install and give it a couple of minutes to finish. Finally, all that's left is setting up your features. First, you're gonna need to enter your name, email, and phone number so that the dark web monitoring feature can look for any of your data being sold online. Next, there's the cloud backup feature, which uploads all your files to the cloud to both scan them much faster and create a backup copy should anything happen. Then you have the VPN, which automatically connects you to the most optimal server. I personally recommend you keep this off if you don't want any speed drops. Otherwise, you can turn it on to have all your internet traffic encrypted. After that, you have the password manager set up. This will take you to the page where you can download the Chrome extension. Just follow the instructions from there and you'll be good to go. Now, once you're done setting up these features, you'll get a page telling you that you can continue setting up any features you may have skipped directly from the dashboard. Just press go to dashboard and that will finish the installation. Now that you've finished the installation, you can access all the features directly from the dashboard. Whether you want to run a full scan, turn on the VPN or use the family control tools. And that's basically it for installing antivirus on your PC. Now, in case you want to set up the antivirus on your phone, simply download the Norton app from the App Store wherever you get your apps. Log in with your credentials and follow the instructions on the app, which should mirror the PC installation. Though keep in mind that you're gonna have to give the app a bunch of permissions during the installation, which is the one difference between the two setups. But that's just because phones are a bit more restrictive in nature. And that's all for my step-by-step -step guide to installing an antivirus. If you're still not sure which one to use, I left some in-depth reviews on antiviruses I'd normally recommend to family and friends in the description down below. So make sure to check those out. And if you have any questions or suggestions, drop them down in the comment section down below, as I love interacting with you guys. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to see more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one.